Sean is not even on yet. It hurts. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah. I hate this. Hello folks, how are you doing today? Hope you're well. Today's vlog is dedicated to psoriasis, the skin condition that I suffer, that a lot of you guys already know about because it's been on this vlog several times before. In fact, I have done a playlist, a series of vlogs, and this is a continuation of that series about this skin condition, which I know a lot of people out there suffer. Right, today's topic. Can psoriasis kill you? Psoriasis in itself cannot kill you. However, there has been recent press articles which have linked deaths directly to psoriasis because of the medicine we use and the fact that the medicine we use is flammable. Most of those treatments contain liquid paraffin. As we all know, liquid paraffin is flammable. The problem is for people who, use, who have psoriasis to treat ourselves effectively for psoriasis, we need to use that stuff constantly. We have it all over our bodies just about every single day. And what that means is our clothes get soaked in it our bed sheets get soaked in it. So, this article I'm reading right now from the BBC says, skin creams containing paraffin have been linked to dozens of fire deaths across England. Products for conditions like eczema and psoriasis can leave people at risk of setting themselves ablaze. As a psoriasis sufferer, let me tell you this is a great concern because we cannot avoid the medicine that we use and we use it all the time and cover ourselves in it, right? So today I'm gonna to do a little bit of an experiment. I've got a couple of psoriasis medicines these are all moisturizers and skin treatments that I use on a daily basis on myself. I'm going to cover a t-shirt in this stuff and try and set it on fire and see what happens. To be honest with you guys, the outcome is pretty obvious. They should just combust. It's going to certainly give me food for thought, you know, about how and where we use the medicine. So I'm just going to go right on ahead and spray and cover these t-shirts. This t-shirt in my psoriasis medicine, the moisturizer and cream selection that I've got here. I think uh, for the purposes of this experiment, that should just about cover it. And by the way, this is not exaggerated in terms of how much we use on our bodies as psoriasis sufferers. We literally put a ton of this stuff on our bodies every single day. We have fire. Right, that is going great guns. If you ask me, that is a big fire already. Eesh. I think that's pretty conclusive, guys that a t-shirt does not burn like that a t-shirt does not burn like that i'm going to put another t-shirt there on there as a test nothing at the moment to be gained from this test to be honest i can't say one way or another whether the paraffin has caused a bigger fire i mean it appears to have burned quicker on that t-shirt than the other one but it's definitely not conclusive all right folks now that was my experiment this is what is left of my two t-shirts two primark t-shirts to be honest with you the one that had the paraffin on it is far more burned than the one that did not have the paraffin on it you could probably expect that to be honest like i said there's people who use psoriasis medicine every single day like i do which is liquid paraffin based and they will be anxious at the moment because these articles came out saying, you know, you could literally burn to death if you use this medicine. And of course, anything that contains a flammable liquid should be treated with caution, right? But we have to think about practicality. At this current moment in time, there's only one effective treatment that you could put on your skin for psoriasis, and that is those creams. They have liquid paraffin or other flammable substances in them. So on a practical level, there's nothing you can do. We need to keep using it at the moment. The fact of the matter is, because we use so much of it, and we use it often before we go to bed or just when we wake up, our clothes and our bed sheets are generally soaked in this medicine, which soaks in over weeks, over months, over years. So we do need to be cautious. I think there's something sensible to come out of this ludicrous experiment. If you do take all this psoriasis medicine like I do, perhaps it's not a great idea to have candles near your bed or to maybe even smoke when you're in your bed. Those are things I don't do anyway, but there will be people who do. So it might be sensible. It might be better to be sensible in these cases. I don't know what you guys think. Silly experiment, but I think there is a point behind it. Yes, the BBC and other news places were right when they said 
some psoriasis medicines can be dangerous because they are flammable. Anyway, I have actually got news for you on the psoriasis front. I have actually been back to the dermatologist and they have referred me back again to the UV light treatment center. And I will be starting that treatment imminently. So that is my situation at the moment with psoriasis. I'm going back to the twice a week light treatment course which I know for a fact will help. Part of this experiment I did today, which although was frankly ludicrous, was just about talking about psoriasis with other people who might also suffer. I actually have a psoriasis treatment which is sprayed onto me every single day as well on my skin. And I hate cold things on my skin, I really, really do. I'm gonna show you a clip of just how painful it is for me to get psoriasis treatment on my body. Check this out. One thing that I hate with a passion is cold things on my body. For example, I really, really, really dislike cold showers. I dislike jumping into cold seas, stuff like that. So one of the bad things about psoriasis treatment for me is from a can which sprays out extremely cold liquid is a very unpleasant experience. That's one of the worst things for me about psoriasis. I absolutely hate it. But um, I need to get Tekka to help me do this. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Sean is not even on yet. It hurts. Stop. <laughs> no, I can't stop. It still loads. Terrible. Yeah. I hate this. <laughs> the cat just <laughs> run for her life. Oops. 